Yeah. Real MVP, sign to the streets. Well, say that part first, real MVP. Ready? The real MVP, sign to the streets. Hold on, but this is money. All right, figure out the real MVP. Oh, so you <laughs> running back. Real MVP. Time. Well, this money money with seven hours from the royal MVP TV straight from the east side of South Georgia. That's the game. Hold on. I knew it, man. We on the west, man. The west side of the hood, 77. How big is this motherfucker? Oh, it's at least it big. Come from, it goes from the 70s to the 90s. You feel me? Right. To 90 seconds. Oh, I'm blood. This is the school I was talking about, nigga. I went right here from preschool all the way up. I used to walk from here all the way, nigga, up, man. Nigga on swan all the way up, man. Nigga, the 83rd man, cause I lived in the, I lived in the skirts. It was what it was. Nigga had to walk over there or catch the dad. One of our homies passed away a little minute ago. Homie there, mad, money mad. From like being busted, I done been busted on a few times. I'm from we was at the party, but it's like us, a few other homies, you feel me? The Hoovers, you feel me? We all had the same enemy, so it was just like a mutual respect. So you feel me? We could be in the same we could be in the same scene and not be no bullshit happen, you feel me? So you know, us being young, I'm like 16, 15, nigga, young, partying, you feel me in there. Shaking ass all the little shit, so nigga, nigga leave the party. I was supposed to originally go with the homies, you feel me? They was finna go to a whole nother little little scene, whole nother but I wind up like walk with my people because the homie he actually lived in the, in, the, in the main street. So nigga, we're like, are we gonna walk him home and try to get back, you feel me, to the hood? We, gonna, we walking down Broadway, nigga, loaded, nigga, having too much fun, and we hmm. loud as a motherfucker, I'm talking to all the little shit, man, shit. A nigga spent the bid, and you feel me? Handle his business, but it, it's, it's crazy because I'm the whole time I'm running, you feel me? All, all I'm thinking of my mom, I'm a young nigga, you feel me? So my mama, and it's fucked up because my mama telling me, like, you feel me? She ain't want me to come outside, nigga. I ain't listening. It, it hit so fast because a nigga drunk, like, you feel me? Nigga drunk, but once it's like, once I heard that first shot, nigga, it was like, oh, shit, they on us, like, you feel me? Then it's like a nigga, nigga ain't really know where it's coming from, so a nigga just trying to, you feel me, get out the way, like, you feel me? But now it's like, nigga, as I'm running, I, all I'm thinking in my mind, because my mom already told me, like, like, you feel me? She don't want me to come outside. A lot of shit been happening with the whoop. You feel me? I'm young. So I tell her, like, now nah, we just gonna go to my cousin's house. So we wanna go and get dropped off at my cousin's house. So sneak into the party, you feel me? So, nigga, all that's going through my mind, like, damn, man, my mama told me, like, you feel me? So I, I'm, I'm running. The whole time around, I'm just thinking, like, damn, you feel me? my mama told me I'm finna die. Like, Let him get it, let him get it past, let him get it past. Y'all shooting a video, y'all going up? A little vlog type thing. He ain't on, who said? He a civilian like me, he a civilian like me. What's your name, bro? That's D. That's D from where? Who's my dog? Over here. Oh, dang, no. Over here? They got to get up on the nigga, got people coming over here. I'm shot the fuck up, dog. I hit him both my knees and my wrist, you feel me? Got scared on my forehead, bro, you feel me? It was two shooters, you feel me? So it's like... Just was, what point did you realize you were shot? I didn't realize I was shot till nigga. I was running down the back street. Matter of fact, you can look down right here, nigga. You can look down the sidewalk right here. I was running down that back street, but in the 80s, you feel me? That's Grand right there. I was running down Grand, nigga. I couldn't, I couldn't feel certain shit no more. You feel me? And then my, my pants was bleeding. I had like blood all on my pants right here. You feel me? Like, and, and I couldn't feel my arms. So I'm like, what the so now I'm taking my jacket off. And I got a big ass hole in my hand. You feel me? Then I'm. My pants fell off, I had some, some shorts under. Them fell off, my shoes was already in the middle of Broadway, so you feel my bent left them. <laughs> uh, so now I'm just running shorts, no shirt, no nothing, you feel me? Because I came to the party, no shirt on, nigga, thinking I'm Keith Sweater, so I'm just out here trying to be fly. <laughs> nigga, I ain't had no shirt on, that, niggas. Man, I'm, I'm running, I done took that off, man. Niggas be trying to sneak in and see that. You know, you, you got to know who people is, because niggas do shit like that. Pull up, niggas just try to fake get a bitch and nigga, bounce something. Get so up on you, you feel me? Even with that situation, y'all checking up on him, seeing what he on, how the way he responded could have made shit go worse? Like, if he just... He, he could have he been a little bit too aggressive, and nigga would have just instantly got to him. He said, nigga, what y'all walking up on my car for any of that? Nigga, first of all, nigga, you in the hood, you don't never, you feel me, you always be respectful, you feel me? At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Me, me, if I go to somebody else's hood, nigga, well, I ain't gonna just instantly, nigga, oh yeah, nigga, who's y'all walking? I ain't gonna do that, because at the end of the day, I know this is not my area, this ain't where I belong, you feel me? So, nigga, it's, it's, it's all how you move, you feel me? Niggas just gotta know how to move out here in these streets. I'm running in shorts and then I get to some people's house, nigga. This the fucked up part, though, right? Niggas, like two, three in the morning, bro. LA, LA always busy, Hello. but it's like, nigga, this night it was like no cars. This night it was like no cars was, you feel me? No cars was out of nothing. Like they weren't driving down the streets. So it wasn't like, like, you feel me? I couldn't even like flag nobody down to call the ambulance for me. So, nigga, I, I, I ran all the way to Fig. Once you go under that under, under that freeway and cross over, that's Flower. Boom, nigga, the next street after that is Fig, nigga. So I run all the way to Fig because I'm running like by 
running down the block, nigga. I'm looking at people, y'all don't see no cars, no nothing, nigga. So my mom like, damn, man, I'm really finna die. I'm here. And I know this nigga still, they still coming, you feel me? So I'm like, damn. I'm like, man, all I'm thinking, like, damn, I'm finna die right here. You feel me? Like, it's, it's over with, nigga. But I just see one house, nigga. They got their porch lights on. It's, it's like two cars in their driveway. I run on they shit, boom. Fall out. As soon as I get out, fall, I couldn't feel my body no more. So it's just, this the only hand I can use. Now I'm knocking on their door, boom, boom, boom. And I'm knocking, boom, boom, boom. So on, nigga. The, the police, uh, uh the, no, the, some motherfucking Nigerian people come out. Some Nigerian people come out. When they come out, once they come out, I tell, uh, I tell them, like, man, I'm shocked. Can you call the ambulance for me? They like, yeah. So, 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 so they, so they, they turn the lights off and shit. They like, you need someone? Like, imagine you need some towels. Shit. I'm like, you feel me? I'm hit. Like, you feel me? So they, could, her, she go get her husband. And shit. Her husband come, wrap me up, turn the porch lights off, leave me right there. That, that the police come. No, the ambulance come first. Boom. When the ambulance come, I tell them like, man, I think you feel me? Cause it was nine of us, it was three females and, and like six of us. So I tell them like, man, I think my brother one of them hit. Like, you feel me? I send the ambulance back. You feel me? To where we got bust on, nigga. So my, my my other cousin, you feel me? My cousin YG from the hood. He wind up getting shot. You feel me? The nigga shot him after he after he chased me down. The nigga double back, went back, and, and bust on him again. You feel me? While he was there trying to finish him off, but he rolled up under the car. So they only hit him like two more times. You feel me? In his legs and shit. So nigga, we get in the hospital. We coming out the, the shit. We both coming out the ambulance. I see him, you see, we both just throw the hood up at the same time, nigga. Like, y'all be you blood up, small nigga. Like, that shit was, it was brazy, though. That's, that's it. Move and, 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 and be respectful about certain, right. certain shit, you feel me? You got to have respect for certain shit and certain, certain people shit, you feel me? They areas, you, you just got to know, bound, like I said, boundaries. You feel me? You got to know boundaries and shit. It ain't no, like, it's, like the homie said earlier, it ain't always being the toughest nigga, you feel me? It's about being the smartest nigga. It's playing chess, not checkers, you feel me? Because you can make one false move, that's Get your ass killed. Just think, nigga. We could have been, we could have been too aggressive. He could have had something. You feel me? Did his thing, and it would have been one of us could have got. In. You feel me? It could have went either way. You feel me? So niggas just like I said, it's a respect and Niggas gotta know how to move around here. Anywhere, really, you gotta know how to move. Wherever you go, you gotta know how to move, and you feel me? Move with respect, and you feel me? Keep boundaries. You feel me? That's it. That shit get real, real quick. Once I knew I, I, you feel me? I got away from niggas. It was just like you feel me. I was just like in my mind, I'm like damn, like you feel me. I thought it was over, but I, ain't, I ain't know if I was gonna make it or not. But it was just like. On some shit, like man, like that shit really be crazy, cause like a nigga really like, you know, and your mind, your mind really don't be thinking too much. You really just be reacting. You feel me? You just know to go, like so. A nigga just be going. You be like, damn, it's it's all adrenaline. Really, it be all adrenaline. Your body just be going, bro. It, that shit just be going. You just be moving, bro. It's that fight or flight. You feel me? I ain't. You feel me? And that's not even the first time I've been. I done been shot again, like. So it be like, the second time I got shot, I was like. It was more like, I was more relaxed though, you feel me? Cause I already like, the first time I was thinking like, damn, I'm finna die. But once I made it, the same time I got shot, you feel me, I got shot twice in my back. I was like on some shit to where I was like, it was like, you, know, you feel me, I'm hit, but I'm like, I, I already know like, you feel me, don't don't panic, you feel me? Cause most people die from, from panicking, you feel me? So I already knew not to panic and all this shit, you feel me? I, actually, I went to the hospital, nigga, and then I left the hospital cause they was taking too long, nigga, and I still had the bullets in my back. One of them wind up falling out. And then when I uh, went right there, they wind up taking the second one out. But nigga, it was just like, that shit was just crazy, you feel me? After you go through certain shit, you just start moving different, you feel me? You left the hospital because they was taking too long. Man, hell yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm in pain like they ain't That's doing, I'm just, sitting, I'm just sitting I'm just sitting there and I'm telling them like, man, I, like, you feel my back hurting bad as a motherfucker. It's like, y'all ain't, ain't helping a nigga, they just got me sitting in the hallway just bleeding. So I'm like, man, shit, I could've sat at home, man, but if it ain't, y'all feel like it ain't life during this shit, I'm gonna be all right. I'm finna go home, you feel me? And the, one of the bullets wind up falling out, but the doctor told me, like, you feel me? I, I was lucky because that shit was like two inches from me, making me being paralyzed, you feel me? It was like crazy shit. You ever thinking about like your, your second, third chance at life? That ever just click in your head, like, I really could have been dead right now? Yeah, hell no. Like, even being out here, sometimes I don't think like that, but as I, like, I, I don't went to jail, you feel me? I went to jail, and I was in jail sitting for some shit. You feel me? I was finding a murder case, you feel me? I was sitting there finding a murder case. And it's like, you feel me? Once, once me, you feel me? I got a son, and shit. my son was two at the time. So it's like, after that, it's like, you feel me? I started seeing shit different, you feel me? Cause I've been away from my son. I got to see my son one time while I was in jail fighting the murder, you feel me? I'm fighting for my life. So it's like, that shit started making a nigga move different, see shit different, you feel me? Nigga couldn't just react off certain shit how a nigga used to, you feel me? Yeah, you feel me? Cause it's like, you feel me? Nigga got more shit to think about, you feel me? My, I only got, like I said, I got to see him one time, you feel me? Cause they wind up taking my mom to jail. And this is when this shit get real, you feel me? They wind up taking my mom to jail for, for, for accessory. Basically trying to say she helped us get away with the murder type shit, you feel me? Some mm -hmm. shit like that, yeah, especially after the fact, you feel me? Trying to say she helped us get away. So now a nigga sitting in there, a nigga like, you feel me? Damn, am I gonna take the case or, or what I'm gonna do? Like, Let me take us back to that situation. You said you was fighting a murder case. 
what do they think happened? They, they really think, you feel me? Because my brother, my brother from Greg, so they say we woke up that morning to just go out and go kill some enemies. That's, that's, what, that's, what, they, that's what they was telling the jury, you feel me? I, mean, I was going to a bitch house I was fucking with. And he was supposed to be going to a bitch house he was, he was fucking with. The police just so happy, you feel me? I already got my car took probably like, prior, like three months before that. You feel me? So now they take his shit. The little bitch house where she stayed in his hood in the project. So nigga was gonna just catch a train from Long Beach, nigga straight all the way down to 103rd station. You feel me? To his hood and he was gonna get picked up by his bitch in his hood and I was gonna stay over there with my little bitch. So, nigga. We on the train, we get into it, some whole other nigga. Mind you, all this shit on footage, so they got all this shit in court, you feel me? So, they see us, we get into it, some other niggas, and some niggas on the train. We get on there, it's just me and him. It's, it's three other niggas hop on after us, but they like, you feel me, they on us. So, me me being me, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm on the niggas too, I'm looking at So I tell my brother, he got earphones, I'm telling like, man, these are the, they the ops, like, you feel me? So, the nigga finally, like, he like, he like keep getting closer, so I'm, so I, now I bounce, I'm like, man, where you from? He's like, from East Coast, so now, we, we like, you feel me, we rock, rock, so now the people trying to break it up, you feel me? So now, we done got probably to the Compton Station, nigga, so we telling them, like, nigga, if y'all trip, we can get off the train, we, we can get it in, you feel me? They weren't talking, they weren't talking, they was really letting the people, like, basically, like, talk for them, they was trying to talk behind the people type, you feel me? Because they, they, like, they really, you could tell they really wasn't trying to, trying to, trying to be on them. The people telling them, like, just chill. So they was, like, just talking from behind them. You get to the next train station, which is the Willowbrook. That's the Bonnie Hines, you feel me? We don't beef with them, but my brother and them, you feel me? That's their worst enemy. So, nigga, like, we finna get off the train. It's probably about 12, 13 of them niggas just sitting off the train. So I'm telling him, like, damn. You feel me? We strapped, though. We strapped. So I'm, I'm telling him. But we both, we, we only had dudes five, you feel me? So I'm telling him, like, man, like, nigga, shit, we gonna be right here. We finna get in the shootout, nigga. Are we gonna go back and call for a ride and you feel me do it the smart way? So he like, all right, fuck it, you feel me? And we wind up seeing some that we knew from school. So now we start, you feel me? We talking to the bitches. The niggas still on the train because the train got to go back that way, you feel me? And they they weren't getting off right there either. They was trying to get to the uh, to the uh, fire. They was